Hi everybody, welcome to a new episode of the Gen AI Nerd channel. And this episode will be a bit more technical because in this video I want to show you how we can leverage Claude skills, so skills that we build in Claude, and how we can leverage them in our local environment using the new anti-gravity IDE of Google, where we can actually code with the newest Gemini 3 model. And I know this might sound a bit like bullshit uh, bingo, but actually I think the combination of these elements really allows you to create very powerful applications. And that's what I will try to show you in the video. So first I will show you how in Claude we can build a skill to transform an Excel into a dashboard. Then I will show you how we can actually export that skill into our local environment so that we don't have to rely on our cloud credits. And then I want to show you how we can then actually leverage that skill in anti-gravity to build the actual dashboard completely for free. So let's get started. Yes, so here I'm in my cloud environment and here I want to show you how I've built a new skill, namely a skill that can translate an Excel document into a dashboard. Yeah, so here, uh, what you need to do for skill building in Cloud AI, and I actually have another video where I go much more in detail. So if you want to check that out, I will put the link into the description of the video. But so here I just say, I want to create a new skill that can analyze an Excel document, identify the five most important visuals to create and subsequently create a dashboard artifact for these visuals. Yeah, so that's my input. And then as it always will do, it will, will create the skill. And in the end, it will just create a lot of context to be able to execute this activity. Yeah. And so here I've actually given them some additional information. Yeah. So it should be able to handle a variety of Excel files, most important key metrics and most interesting patterns and changes over time. Yeah. So here it asked me for some additional information that I provided. And then it continued working on the skill. And then as you always will see, it will create for you a file, a skill file yeah, that you can then download. And then you can upload that file again into cloud skill. Uh, however, a problem is if you stay in the cloud environment, these skills, building skills, but also using skills typically consumes a lot of tokens. And if you're in, on the lowest subscription like I am, so, so this is this kind of $15 uh, dollar, uh, subscription, quite quickly you run out of credits and then you have to wait for three hours or even your credits for the week will be gone. So that's quite annoying. So actually what I do is I write here a follow up prompt. More specifically, I say, can you create downloadable versions of the underlying fly so files? So actually this file is a kind of zip file where different files are combined. And these are the files that it needs to execute the skill. But you so you can get kind of the underlying files. And here it then created for me kind of the underlying files. Yeah. So here again, there is the skill, but then you have here the underlying files. Yeah. So which exactly mark down files where it actually provides a lot of context to explain what the skill needs to do. And then you can simply download these documents, yeah, so these documents I have now downloaded and just add them into your local environment as a skill. And now uh, we can use these files into our local environment to start using in a coding agent in an IDE environment. And now we'll show you the most recent new introduction from Google, Anti-Gravity. So Anti-Gravity is their own new IDE. IDE environment, so it's a kind of competitor for cursor. But the great thing is that at the moment it's completely for free and you can even use the most advanced Gemini 3 model in this environment. So let me show you how that works. Yes, yeah, so now I'm in anti-gravity and uh, you can simply download this by going to the internet and type in DeepMind anti-gravity and then you will be able to download it. And you see in terms of layout, it's very similar to cursor or Visual Studio Code. Yeah, so here I have my folder. So now I have a, my cloud skill folder here opened. And on the right hand side, you have an agent to which you can talk for the coding. And so what do I want to do? I have here a file called anonymous founder database. Yeah. So here I have an anonymous database with uh, all kinds of startups from the WHO ecosystem with information about their funding, 
uh, their city location, uh, number of employees that they have. Yeah? So it's simply an Excel with data about these companies. And now I want to create a dashboard for this Excel file. And here actually, I have a folder called Excel to Dashboard Skill. And this is the folder where I uploaded the documents that I downloaded out of Claude. Yeah? So here we have these markdown documents into this folder. And now I can simply go here to my agent and you see uh, I can now use Gemini 3 Pro Higher. So that's the most sophisticated model they have. And simply describe now what is the application that I want to build. So let me briefly do that. So now I will say I want to build a streamlit application that can transform the documents called anonymous founder database into a dashboard using the context provided in the folder Excel to dashboard skill. So this is the kind of instruction that I'm giving the agent. So I'm saying, look, this is the file from which we will start. And actually in this folder, you can find the context that you need to take into account for creating the dashboard. And this is exactly the skill that I've built in Claude. So now we can press enter. And so now it will start working. So if you have used coding agents in Visual Studio Code or Cursor, this will look very familiar. But you see now it creates a task list. So now it will execute all these tasks. And now it's thinking about how to do that. And you see already some first tasks are being executed. Yeah, so if you're familiar with coding agents, this will be quite familiar to you. I now already have to give some permissions because it wants to work in my terminal. So now I will give it the permission. Of course, huh? here you have to always be a bit careful that it cannot do strange things. Um, so that's why it's good to have the permissions on. And now it will start running. So now we have to wait a bit more. Yes, and now it actually has created for me what it calls an implementation plan. And this is quite specific for anti-gravity. So here yeah, now you can see kind of the plan that it wants to execute. Yeah? So it will say, okay, and I use this Excel to dashboard skill. It has some proposed changes. So it wants to create a Python file called dashboards and it has a kind of verification plan to execute. Yeah. And so now we can review this plan or simply say proceed. So if you agree with the plan, we can simply say proceed and this looks okay to me. So I now will say proceed. And now again, it will continue to code to actually code my streamlit application according to the implementation plan and already do some double checks. So let's briefly wait to see what happens. Yes, and so now it has kind of mentioned that it's ready and it has created the Streamlit dashboard. And it now has also created a new document called Walkthrough, which kind of gives an overview of what it has been doing. Yeah, so here we can double check whether what it has been doing makes sense. Yeah, and we can immediately also accept all the changes that it made into files. Um, so now uh, here we can check what it, we need to do. So now it says, okay, uh, if you now want to run the Streamlet app, this is the code that you have to write in your terminal. So that's now what I will do. Yes, and so now I will open a terminal. And now I will say uh, that it should execute the file that it has created in line with what it suggested to me. So Streamlit run founder dashboard dot pi and we can press enter and now you will see it opens a local host and here we can see indeed the initial dashboard that it now created for me where i have indeed so now it should create kind of five core findings from my excel and indeed i get some key metrics launch trends over time top 10 cities by funding berlin is the highest one no surprise here top industries and also here, it made a lot of sense. And actually in my Excel, these data were quite messy. So it's actually interesting to see that it was able to nicely get the industries out of the data and funding versus employees, 
here we get a nice scatter plot already. And so I think this nicely shows the power how we can start combining skills from cloud, export them into our own coding environment, and then launch a coding agents, for instance, the anti-gravity agent now from Google to quickly start actually building an application. So I hope this can give you some inspiration to start experimenting yourself with combining these different tools. I think this is quite powerful. And if you like this kind of videos, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thanks for your attention. Bye.